Jeez, why has it been so hard to catch any whitefish lately, Ralph? Well, Jerry, I've heard about some invasive species here in the Great Lakes called the zebra mussel. So maybe it somehow relates. I think it's from northern Russia. Oh yeah, I've heard about that too. What exactly are invasive species, and how do they get there? Invasive species are non-native organisms that are detrimental to the native ecosystem. I learned that a main cause of the introduction of invasive species is ballast water from boats. So like the water that ships take in from where they leave in order to balance the boat, right? Yep. Oh, so then I guess species from wherever the boats are leaving, like Russia, for example, are in the water or attached to the boats. Yep. So then when the boats release the water at their location, like here in the Great Lakes, the species are released with it. I already know that they clog intake pipes since there are so many of them. So how does this affect the whitefish and other species that are already here? Let's find out. I'm starving. I know. It's because those new zebra mussels are everywhere and are eating all of our food. Where do they even come from? I don't know. Let's ask this one over here. Hey, zebra mussel. Hey, whitefish. I'm Mason. Who are you? This is Wilbur, and I'm Wanda. Where did you all dang zebra mussels come from? Well, we are from Russia, and when boats took in ballast water, they picked us up too and took us here. Some of my friends hitched a ride by attaching to the bottom of the boat, too. Well, you're eating all of our food. I'm starving. Well, that's too bad. All of this food is so good. This just isn't fair. You zebra mussels don't have predators, so there are tons of you. And then you eat all of our usual food and filter all of the water and nutrients, too. And you don't have any predators since your shells don't have any nutritional value. And they take so much energy to eat and digest. Yeah, my family is starving because of you, Mason, and the rest of your invasive species friends. We want to have a good life, too. It's just unfortunate that it leads to the end of your species since you guys aren't as smart as us to be able to find new food. Because you're eating it all, and also driving out other species like the native mussels that used to live here. You cause competition for space and food, and without predators, you guys keep on expanding and traveling throughout the lakes and eventually across the country. Yeah, one of my friends said that you guys are even in California. Yep, some of my family wanted to see the world. Well, all right, I'm going to filter some more water for nutrients. See you later. Well, maybe not. You humans sure cause a lot of trouble for all of us. Yeah, if they weren't so reckless with their boating habits, we wouldn't be in the situation right now. Our ecosystem would be balanced again, and the whitefish species would be thriving. Yeah, really. They need to make some changes up there to help us down here. There's got to be a way to stop the spread of zebra mussels and the future introduction of invasive species. Over the years, I learned that salt water kills any freshwater organisms because they can't survive in salt water. So maybe if fishermen empty their ballast water in salt water areas before they enter the Great Lakes, they can prevent introducing invasive species like these zebra mussels. Well, we've got to start telling everyone or else all the whitefish will be gone and we'll be out of a job. Let's spread the word. Way to pass the time of day.